Hey guys, got another video for you and it's going to be a quick one. It's just a quick update on the Ledger Nano S. So as I've stated in the past, this is what I use to store my crypto. Never leave your crypto exchange. Oh, I'm sorry, never leave your crypto on an exchange because you run the risk of it uh, being hacked. Um, of course, exchanges shutting down and there's no, you know, it's not like a bank where it's federally insured. You could just lose everything. So I highly recommend getting some sort of hardware wallet. Um, such as a Ledger Nano S or, you know, some people use the Trezor, but I like the Ledger Nano S. It works really well. I keep my Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, all that good stuff on here. Um, if you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the comment section to where you can check it out if you want to buy it or not. But anyway, um, there's a big update that came out uh, for this. It was mentioned on Ledger's uh, website yesterday. Um, it's essentially a firmware update 1.4.1 specifically for the ledger nano s um and it's some big updates so let's go to the go through the details here so it says here it brings several functional changes new ux features as well as a few important security improvements one key update that we're really excited about with this version will be what will be that you'll be able to install many more applications on your ledger nano s so You'll be able to put more uh, crypto on it here, obviously putting uh, many other uh, uh, the apps. So essentially, you have to download the applications um, specifically on here from their website. And it'll add, for example, you can add the Ripple app, the Bitcoin app, Ethereum, Litecoin, so forth. Um, so let's talk about the user experience. The number of apps which can be loaded onto the Nano S at the same time can be raised up to 18 depending on the crypto cryptocurrencies. As a reminder, deleting an app does not impact your cryptocurrency holdings. When the app is reinstalled, the original balance is retrieved. The screen lock management has been slightly modified as a long press three seconds on both buttons of your Nano S when it is in use, whether in the dashboard or while using apps will enable you to lock the screen. To ensure that the user has backed up correctly to 24 words, all of them must now be confirmed during the onboarding. Several optimizations have been implemented in order to improve user experience. For instance, the device now is now faster using some cache optimizations. So there's some security uh, updates here, guys. I'm not going to read through everything. I'll put a link in the, the comment section for you guys to go read about all these updates. So if you're holding, once again, the Ledger Nano S, it's, it will be important for you to do this firmware update. Um, they also called out some information here. Some people were saying some stuff about how, um, yeah, so here. There are some claims on Reddit and Twitter about a critical security issue being found on the Nano S. This is incorrect. The issues found are serious. That's why we highly recommend the update but not critical. Funds have not been at risk and there are there was no demonstration of any real life attack on our devices. We will disclose all technical details after March 20th. So they they dispel some FUD here. Um, and this they also provide the instructions on how to do this, a step-by-step -step instruction with um, screenshots here. So it looks like, wow, they added some new support here for different cryptocurrencies. So as mentioned, up to 18 guys. So you can hold a lot on here. So I have to do this firmware update. It, they said it takes about 15 minutes. So I'm probably going to do it um, later tonight. Just get it all updated. Um, get some of my uh, cryptos, uh, other cryptos that I'm holding in, in online wallets um, on, on here uh, because I, it didn't have the support for certain apps. So uh, I'll put a link to, once again, to, to the, uh, these this content here so you guys can read through. Once again, you can update your Ledger Nano S. And for those of you, once again, who don't have one, I highly recommend you do get one. I'll leave a link up where to, you know, get this. So uh, just a quick update, guys. Hope this is helpful. And um, uh, let me know if any of you already did this to your existing, uh, your, your Ledger Nano S, if you already upgraded to firmware 1.4.1. So uh, that's it, guys. If you like this video, thumbs up. And please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrencies. Talk to you guys later.